seconds and time. Hi and welcome to another episode of Mission Control. I have been debating a flat earther called InRem for some time now. It's just so much fun to confuse this guy and his lack of understanding is so severe that I imagine the world is a really scary place for him. We have been going over many, many points, but he constantly wiggles his way out and makes excuses every time I press him for testable answers. I even offered to do a sort of a joint venture where we had or we were supposed to decide something we wanted to prove and then agree to the methods on how to prove it and finally do the experiments. But of course he chickened out and came up with some poor excuse. So the time has come for me to say goodbye to this fellow as I have already wasted enough time on him. I will do so by showing an animation of the latest subject we discussed, so let's get to it. I asked him how the sun can be seen at zero degrees, eye level, to which he said that the sun converges to the center of view. I point out that the flat earth model claims the sun to be elevated above us like a few thousand kilometers. Then he compares the sun to a row of street lights that also seem to converge at the horizon. I replied that street lights are not exactly 3000 kilometers tall and then I asked him to explain the triangle that is defined by this problem. This question had him cornered so much that he said that I was putting words in his mouth and that he had never claimed the sun to be elevated nor follow a circular path. Well, how in the holy hell does the sun get from A to B then? Hmm? The only thing this guy is sure of is that there's a sun in the sky and it moves. That's all he knows. I mean, I can get more qualified answers in a kindergarten. Well, anyway, let's just roll the video and see the difference between the observable reality and the flat earth claim. The flat earth sun is supposed to go around in circles. Notice the lampshade I had to use for night to even occur on this model. Four things happen at Equinox in Richland, Washington, where InREM lives. One, the sun rises due east and sets due west. 2. The sun completes a 180 degree arc. 3. The sun travels across the sky by 15 degrees per hour. 4. The elevation angle to the sun runs between 0 and 44 degrees. The green line is true to all of these four observations. The flat earth sun fails at all four. Now I know in REM stated that he doesn't support this model. But if the sun is not elevated nor circling, that leaves him with no possible way to model or explain the earth. And this is no surprise, because the earth is not flat. I believe this was another safe landing for the globe team, so stick around for the next mission. <laughs>